Tanya and this is my friend Evelyn. Hi guys. She's Mexican too and she's gonna help me today to make this video of pula. I don't know if you have seen pula before but like it's 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 a bread. It's a bun. Mm -hmm. You can explain more what well, pula yeah, is. Yeah, it's, like it. it's like a round sweet bun made mm. up of different ingredients that we are going to show you a little bit later. And uh, it's just cut by the half and stuffed with delicious, super mm. soft, super fluffy white cream and a very, very sweet, nice, uh, nice uh, layer of marmalade. And I hope you enjoy this recipe. Evelyn is an excellent baker, so she's going to be showing you how to make this and I'm going to help her later on. So yeah. we hope you like it and just... Happy Laskes Pula! Yeah! Happy Laskes Tis Taita! Yes! Enjoy your Pula! Bye. Bye! For this recipe, we are going to need 450 grams of flour, any kind of flour, 25 grams of yeast, which is half a cube, 250 milliliters of milk, which is one cup, 100 grams of margarine, two eggs, one for the recipe and one more for the finishing. We are going to need half a teaspoon of cardamom, half a teaspoon of salt, 85 grams of sugar, and for decoration we are going to need a, a little bit of strawberry jelly and decoration sugar the first thing we are going to do is to heat up the milk and it's very important that the milk is as warm as the palm of your hand it doesn't have to be very hot and it cannot be very cold now that the milk is warm as the palm of your hand we are going to pour it in a, in a bowl Okay, and we are going to start to mix the yeast. Remember, just half a cube is enough. 25 grams of it. It has completely dissolved now. Now we are going to add in order the sugar. And now we are going to add the salt here. Yeah, keep on beating. Now is the turn of the cardamom, which is here. Or cinnamon, remember, remember you don't need cardamom if you don't find it. Cinnamon will mix, or even no cinnamon, no cardamom, we will also very good for your buns. So now that we have mixed everything well, it's the turn of the egg. Just one egg, and it has to be a room temperature too. Keep on beating. There, it's the turn to add the floor. I'm gonna show you how. So you keep on adding the floor bit by bit. Just bit by bit. In the meantime, you are beating. Remember not to add the floor all at once. You wanna control the amount of floor that you wanna put in your mix. Otherwise, it will be either too runny or too dry it's better to just add it just one by one, one cup at a time. If you notice at some point when you have been adding quite some flour and beating it for a while, you will start to notice that your dough will start to get harder and harder to beat with this, with this instrument. So at some points you will have to start to do it by hand. That's the beauty of Pula. You can use a beating machine, a mixer if you want. But if you want to have fun, I recommend it to you to do it by hand. So here we are still kneading the dough, integrating everything very well until you get a very sticky, very hard dough. And now what we are going to do, this is not ready yet, it's that we are going to integrate the margarine to our dough. It's going to make it a little bit runnier, but this is important so our our, our pula will be uh, kind of, uh, you know, moist. 
little bit moister and softer. So the, the remember margarine has to be a room temperature and remember to use your hands. Mix it all the way. Doesn't matter if it's sticky, just keep on, keep on kneading inside the bowl. There you go. You go bit by bit, you got dough that is not, not too sticky, not too hard. It's like a very, very soft pizza dough, but well, got it. Yeah. One good way to get rid of the excess of dough in your hands is this. You just pass, it, pass the bowl, one hand to the other, like this, and you'll see how bit by bit the dough will start to take some consistency and start to stick out your fingers including this excess that you got here you punch it with this yeah this is very good very good consistency yeah and I'm gonna use a little bit of my own technique don't get scared okay this is not violence this is already approved by by audiences That will help to keep consistency to the dough. You see how it sticks a lot faster from the, of your hands? That's a good trick. Check out this dough, isn't it pretty? Yeah. So now, check. It doesn't stick to your hands. It's very soft, but it's still very consistent. I'm going to put this to rest. You want to put it to rest in a warm, dry place you don't put it inside a very hot oven you don't put it on the fridge you just put it to rest in a maybe room temperature so yeah room temperature place yay, yay! <laughs> 30 minutes on time's up time's up now so now i'm here in front of the camera because you have came to help us so I can help yeah. Emily with the mother. Yeah, because funny. I'm gonna need now an assistant. Because this is the funny, the best part of all, which is rolling the dough. It's ready, it's been 20 minutes, 20 from 20 to 30 minutes on warm temperature. Uh, usually I put it inside the oven because it's very warm and dry in there. So now we uncover and we see the result. Not Look at that. There it is. It's very soft very fluffy and what we do is we just remove all the air you see that's what you want to do you want to make sure that all the bubbles are out as you can see it doesn't stick to your hands it's very soft it's very easy to handle so there you go this is the point when you start to preheat your oven at 225 uh, celsius 